Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kids and It's your favorite three tail fox box. They come back at you the brand new episode. Well, not really a brand new episode. This is more of a brand new series, although technically it is a brand new episode. But we're just going to call it a brand new series here on the Foxy Car YouTube channel. Yes, I screwed up the intro, and yes, I'm going to keep all that in there. But anyways, we're going to be bringing back Sims 3 in this brand new series. I'm sure some of you guys were actually waiting for me to do this, and I figured we would, you know, name it for our uh, technical close... Actually, yeah, it is technically named for a close friend of mine, isn't it? But, um, you might not know who it is on first glance out here, too. They'll probably say something in the comments below out here. Probably, well, actually, I don't know if I want to say probably before any of you guys see it. I don't know. I haven't seen any words on memberships or anything like that yet from him, so... But yeah, I do know he wants to get one out here, so yeah. Anyways, this is Texi Island out here right about now. And I gotta say, this map is starting to look pretty good right about now. So many things to kind of work with out here. Obviously, right now we got the city hall, we got the lots, we got everything like that. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. And of course, I decided I wanted to um, use a few roadways out here. You might actually notice this. I decided I wanted to use custom roadways. Let me tell you right now, I'm not regretting my decision on that one. That actually is probably one of the better things that I've done out here. And yes, I will be doing this for all Sims 3 worlds in the future. I'm also going to keep them fairly small so that I have a fighting chance of actually finishing them without them bugging out. Because very unfortunately, that has happened before. I've actually had them kind of like bug out before I can finish them. So yeah, right now we're basically working on founding the town, kind of like getting the downtown area done. Which is going to be tiny because we are working with a small world size. And again, I think it's pretty good to have a small world size. I'm also working with an island. Because historically, I kind of have it easier to work with islands and whatnot out here. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be fun. But anyways, right now we got the um, pathways out here too. And I'm just going to say this right here and now. Pathways, you are probably the most painful creature I ever have worked with in Sims 3 Creator World Tool. You and the objects. And for those of you guys who don't know how I'm using um, custom op Well, not really custom objects, but more so things like rabbit holes that you guys are seeing in the game. Because you may have noticed me plop it a little bit earlier. I'm using a mod called the Super Creator World from a um, person in the Discord server. Let me see if they're still there right now. I remember their name, and I'll shout them out regardless, but they're the ones that actually kind of um, introduced me to this um, Creator World mod. Um, okay, so I'm just looking in it, and I don't think the answer is no, but the last time I saw them, the name was This Game, is ri this game Was Rigged From The Start. They're the ones that actually kind of... Oh, no, they're still there. Was The Game Rigged From The Start. So, yeah, they're the ones that actually linked me to um, Super Creator World, which is basically a tool that you can use to, um, basically, what was it again? It's a tool that you can use to get a lot more control over what your world looks like and everything like that. And I'll tell you what, right now, it is absolutely, positively amazing out here. So, um, yeah, thank you, Hydro First, for that one out here. I'm definitely going to be using that one to the fullest, but, yeah. And also, you did kind of see me work with the terrain tools a little bit out here, particularly the terrain paint, and I will be doing this from time to time on an as-needed basis, kind of like adding custom terrain paints. And I've actually downloaded some from Mod The Sims out here too, and I think all my road textures are from Mod The Sims as well, so um, yeah, they should be pretty easy to find. They were literally like some of the first results that came up for um, Sims 3 custom road textures. But yeah, that's going to be another thing you're going to be seeing me commonly do in world projects like this, and... Yes, I do plan to use mods and custom content as well. I mean, why wouldn't I? Come on. No, really, actually. Um, What is a Sims 3 custom world without custom, you know, stuff out here? Like custom textures, custom content, mods, etc. I am going to actually need mods to improve the performance of this game. And it will probably still go to the dogs from time to time. Hence why I'm not doing this on live streams. I'm Trust me, for I've I've seen that like live like I've had entire live streams lag out on this a good number of times. So yeah, we kind of don't want that here. So until I can figure out how to get it to run perfectly smoothly, I'm probably not streaming this in the near future. But I will definitely do some um I'll definitely do videos of it too, where I can kind of like cut out the lag and kind of afford that stuff out here. But yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. Another thing I could probably do to reduce lag would be probably not have giant walls of hedges everywhere, but um, you know I tend to prioritize nice looks over performance as much as possible. So long as it's not crashing the game, I'm usually okay with it, just for the record. 
But yeah, so long as it's not crashing the game, and that's gonna be your key right there. If it's crashing the game, that's gonna be a pretty big problem right there. But overall, I'd say it's not doing too bad out here. And also, by the way, I do want to point this out too. Expect a lot of house building videos from this out here because I don't really plan on doing a whole lot of custom community lots. And there actually is a reason for that. It's largely because of the fact that I could just place rabbit holes everywhere in Creator World and not have to worry about community lots for them, which is actually really nice because the way the community lots are structured in Sims 3 have, it's always confused me. I'm just gonna say it. It's always freaking confused me. And I'm just, I'm just gonna say it because why has there had to be so many types of community lots? Why can't I just locate the one that I need or just make it a generic community lot, put a rabbit hole on it and just be done? Why does that have to be so hyper specific? So yeah, you're gonna see me like use the super call for the rabbit holes a lot. I wonder if it'll actually work if I do that. And I mean, I don't usually do things for functionality, but if I play test it and I find that it's all functional, all cool, we can work with it. So maybe, just maybe that's something I could do. And also, by the way, yes, this is supposed to be a tropical world. A lot of the worlds that I build are kind of like that, I just noticed, which is kind of why I'm giving patrons the ability to choose the settings for the worlds up here, too. I, I kind of want, I kind of want a group of people to be able to challenge me or something like that. And I figured, you know what? Patreon patrons and YouTube members, you guys are absolutely perfect for the task of choosing the settings of the worlds if I like if I if I let you guys because um again you might throw a style at me that I'm not particularly strong at. Like for example, you could put a world you could maybe use left hand drive for a world and there's only one thing I have to say when it comes to anything that I do with left hand drive. Expect me to screw it up like a lot out here. Because I'm just going to say right now, I'm not very strong at it. In fact, I've already got Werewolf City going on in Sims 2 in this department, which i got to get another episode I've recorded tomorrow. It is Wednesday at the time I'm recording this, because i got to get this out to um, Patreon patrons and YouTube members first out here. And also, by the way, yes, I was trying to put a fountain near City Hall. There was really not much of any good options available, so that kind of had to be thrown out the window. I am putting down some benches, though, which I think look pretty cool. And of course, me being me, I accidentally moved the City Hall. So, um, yeah, that was fun, but yeah, that's because, um, I think the city hall, the pit box for that kind of supersedes the bench, which, I'm gonna be honest, I think that's complete garbage. Let me move the bench, I don't care where it's located. And I tried to place these ones diagonally, but it just would not let me for some reason. Well, it, it took a few tries, basically, to get the right orientation out here, so, yeah. But anyways, it does look like we are starting to come up pretty close to the end of this episode out here. I don't really know if there's anything further that I do outside of maybe a few landscaping out here. Oh no, I put some street lights down at the end. <laughs> oh my god, I should not be recording this while I'm like hacking up along out here. It's only minor. I'm a tough cookie. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. But anyways, that's gonna just about do it for this episode. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye for now, and have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be.